in this project, we're trying to rely on the drip tape as a source of irrigation, plant hydration, and salt leaching, as opposed to a conventional overhead sprinkler. Uh, the idea is to uh, establish those plants without losses of water from plastic and runoff and trying to save water in process as well. Uh, here we could see the position of drip tapes in bed. We're trying to match number of rows and uh, number of drip tapes to irrigate those rows. The position of tapes is about two to three inches away from future planting rows. This assures good uh, water uh, delivery to the plant root systems and hydration and leaching. However, we're safely away from the future knives that will cut holes for this plant. Installing the four tapes per bed uh, in this treatment was a very easy adjustment. In this case, we used two tractors with two passes uh, to deliver them right where we want those drip tapes to be. Uh, so it's a, not a complicated thing for the farmers to adapt. We experience very strong Santa Ana winds in Southern California. Our relative humidity is very low. The wind speed is about 20 miles an hour or greater. The plants dehydrate very fast. Uh, what we also notice, the beds without overhead irrigation that remain dry have difficulty holding the plastic in place. It gets blown out by the strong winds without being cemented with this uh, muddy furrows that uh, we experience in uh, overhead irrigation treatment. In overhead irrigation block, uh, the water saturates the furrows and cements the plastic around the strawberry bed so it stays intact during the windy conditions as opposed to dry beds uh, that have been irrigated with drip only with four lines uh, which deliver water very accurately and yet provide little water to, for the furrows to hold the plastic. In this case, in the event of Santana wind, we lose about 10 to 15 percent of the plastic uh, that's been tossed out by wind and need to be reinstalled. However, uh, it is obvious runoff from the overhead um, irrigation treatment that carries the pollutants, uh, soil particles, legacy pesticides, and, and obviously water losses in this treatment as well, which we're trying to avoid with our experimental um, setup. We're looking how the plants are performing in those different irrigation regimes. And in fur buried drips, uh, establishment was near 100% which was also true for other blocks, uh, for the four surface drips. So they're good sized plants, they're pretty good uniformity, occasional uh, plant issue, but uh, a very acceptable commercial stand uh, in those irrigation systems. We're looking at fruit production and plant establishment, and that was excellent. Uh, in all treatments, we're able to have excellent uh, plant vigor and root biomass. We saved about 60% of water or more by using four drip lines as opposed to two lines. When we compare the drip only versus overhead irrigation. Uh, additionally, of course, sprinklers are used for frost protection and other purposes, but uh, reliance on drip alone is obviously a very important uh, tool we can use uh, when we consider accurate measurement of soil parameters and water quality to guide this management decisions. At the time of uh, first fresh market fruit production, the yields were very similar among all these treatments and yield quality was, uh, fruit quality was very similar among the treatments as well. So we're definitely saving water, minimizing runoff without compromising the production of fruit in the strawberry uh, field.